Ham began his spectacular career in the Canadian Football League as a member of the Edmonton Eskimos. In 1988, Ham had 11 starts with the Eskimos. That season, he threw for 2,840 yards with 14 touchdowns, and he rushed for over 600 yards. In 1989, Ham broke out and truly showed what he can do, throwing 30 touchdown passes and becoming the first CFL quarterback to rush for over 1,000 yards. He led the league in passing efficiency and yards per rush. That same year, Ham was named the CFL's most outstanding player and was a unanimous selection for Western All-Star and CFL All-Star. He continued to surpass his achievements into the following decade, leading the league in touchdowns with 36 in 1990 and leading the Eskimos to a great cup appearance. In January of 93, Ham was traded to Toronto in a blockbuster deal, but he spent only one season in Toronto before becoming a free agent and signing with the CFL expansion team in Baltimore. In 1995, Ham led the Baltimore Stallions to a Grey Cup win against the Calgary Stampeders. They became the first and only American team to accomplish the feat. Ham was named the most outstanding player in that Grey Cup game. The following season, Ham followed the team north of the border as the Stallions became the Montreal Alouettes. By the end of the 96 season, Ham had become the league's all-time leading rusher amongst quarterbacks with 6,870 career rushing yards. Ham brought his career to a close with the Owls in 1999, playing a total of four seasons, including a trip to the East Division Final in 97. Ham became the second quarterback in CFL history after Damon Allen to reach 8,000 career rushing yards and the fifth player to surpass 40,000 passing yards. He retired fifth in league history with 40,534 passing yards and still holds the CFL record for most rushing yards in a season by a quarterback with 1,096. The Canadian Football Hall of Fame is proud to welcome Tracy Ham.